everyone. Today I am so excited to be speaking with author Joanna Davidson Politano and her debut novel is Lady Jane Disappears and there it is. <laughs> love the cover. I love it. I love how the disappears is like lighter across the, you know, I love that effect because it yeah, the publishing team did a great job with this cover. I they love sure it. They sure did. And let me tell you, Joanna, for a debut novel, this book is amazing. I couldn't believe oh, thank it was you. the first book, published book. I really I mean, it, was, it had me going, and I, I don't think I've ever read a book quite like it. It is so different. And I wanted to know, like, how did you come up with that? We hear babies. Yay. You have, do you have a two-year-old and a one-year-old? I have a three-year-old and a one-year-old. Three-year-old and a one-year-old. What what yes. what are their names? Uh, my one year old is Levi, and my three year old is Elena. Oh, that's so cute! I love Levi. That is such a cute name. So we Thank you. hear them in the background, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> so how did you come up with the concept? That this book. First of all, I was listening to it and reading it on Kindle, and wow, on because they have that whisper sync, so it's like I can go back and mm -hmm. forth in the grocery store, and I and I even have really I bought brand new Bluetooth. So I can listen like wherever I am. Like, it's very really cool. cool. Because my sons were complaining that I always had it out loud. They were like, "Oh, get it on headphones." You know, we want to listen to our music. So. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, the way they say her name, I want to get it right. It's Ari Ariely Ar Ariely or Orly Orly. I love it. Yeah. I just want to. I Thanks. felt like it. I kept, you know, because they don't say her name very. You don't say her name very often because it's written <laughs> in her person. But I was like, right. when I was writing it today, I was like, wait, how did they say that? Because I love that name. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I was, I was so going she something whimsical since her father kind of picked her name, and he's a little bit of a a whimsical guy. So. Right, right. Like it, it goes with his whole thing. So he like mm -hmm. is writing this under a pen name book. He's right. Writing, you know, Nathaniel draw. So then mm -hmm. the book bounces back and forth, and I, where I think the story's going, it's like it switches up, and then I don't know where the. I mean, the ending was amazing. I loved it. Loved it. Oh, I'm glad you liked it. I had so much fun writing it, and so much fun coming up with it. It was just great. <laughs> Well, first of all, I love I love English anything. <laughs> so you me too. The, if you put the setting in, especially Victorian England, I'm pretty much like right there with you. Like I love that mm -hmm. that kind of history and what you did with her family. So she gets you know kind of she, she's in this debtor's prison because of her dad. And I don't want to give away any spoilers. So stop me if you don't want me to tell stuff. So. Because I don't want to give away. Go for stories. it. You're, okay. You're fine so, far. <laughs> so then, and then they, the, her family takes her in, but they're not happy about her because you know they really haven't known her, and all of a sudden now they have to take care of her, and they're not happy about it. But what I love about it is how you, how the story is about. Okay, so they're not happy about it, but you don't know why they're not happy about it. Really, you just, you know, you kind of figure it out as the book goes exactly what her what they think of her and her fam her father and her mother and uh, it was mm -hmm. just so much it was the story was so deep it just kept going and going I loved it well thank you it and was like, it was a really fun it was like my nap time project and it was just you know I had a six month old baby and this was like my adult depth <laughs> where I could sit down and write I know, and you look so young. I mean, I know you have two babies, but I could be your mom. And I'm like, I, when I, I didn't realize your age. And when I got done and I was reading your bio, I'm like, oh, my goodness. She is so young to be telling a story like this. Like, it's crazy. Well, it's, uh, I read a lot of classic literature growing up, so I kind of had that mindset. I figured. <laughs> I figured. <laughs> a lot of, did you read a lot of, like, Jane Eyre and Jane Austen and all those people? Oh, sure. Yes. I actually like Dickens. <laughs> and Dickens. I know this is probably, uh, I lose my author card for saying this, but Jane Austen is not my favorite as much as Dickens. <laughs> as much as, I read a lot of Dickens, too, so I, I know. I'm a homeschooling mom, by the way, so I, like. Oh, we're, we're headed that direction as well. <laughs> Are you? If it, if it mm -hmm. helps you to hold the baby, you can hold it. You really don't have to have him off camera. It's really okay. not a problem. I'm telling well, you. he's sitting right next to me and just kind of probably wanting to be held. Well, I know from, you know, having babies. Like, sometimes they just want to be held. <laughs> yep. There you go. Yes. That's, that's, like, that's all they want. So then he can look at me. 
But um, yeah, so, you know, I homeschooled all six of my children and kind of off and on each one of them, they each had a path and some went to school, some graduated homeschooling, you know, it was, it was different for every one of them. And I have my, my youngest son is 14 and I'm still homeschooling him. So, you know, I'm still in the wow. process, but I use Charles Dickens a lot. Uh, you know, for our good English. for you. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, I don't know if they were so happy about it all the time, but I liked it. So <laughs> they'll appreciate it. They'll so, they'll realize later what they had. Well, you know, it's interesting because my one son, who's in, um, he's a senior this year, and he's um, at a religious school, and he'll come home and be like, "Mom, we're reading this book, but we already read we read that when I was like in seventh grade." I'm like, yeah, see. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. All that, you know, all that hard work. But anyway, um, yeah, I could just tell. I mean, your your writing is so, it's so beautiful and so descriptive and so, like, I just love reading the words. I love reading oh, every thank word. You. And like I said, you I, know. I really enjoy like coming up with words. For, for a playing around with novel. And... Right. Like, yes, I can tell that you do. I, you know, and, and the way that you got the way, the, the way they spoke back then is not easy. That's mm -hmm. not easy to pick up and keep continuous on throughout the whole thing, yeah. well, you know? I'm sure I made some errors in there, but I kind of have the, uh, you know, all those classic literature things in my head, the way they talked and things like that. So that was right. pretty helpful. <laughs> right. And it was during Charles Dickens time. So usually you could really use his books with that kind of, you know, with the, the yeah. way he spoke. Absolutely. And, um, and so I love her relationship with Juliet too. Okay. So, oh, thank you. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. How did you, first of all, I love the name Juliet. I mean, that's, you know, it's pretty and oh, English thanks. and very English and everything. So, um, mm -hmm. what, what were you trying to make? Like when you were thinking of the story, like what were you thinking that she would add to her, her life, you know, like, cause, cause it's like, they, they're like comrades on, you know, like right away we get introduced to Juliet in the beginning of the book, you know? Well, I wanted a, I wanted a contrast for her because she's so different than Orly. And so I wanted Orly's character to be even more dynamic because of her being next to Juliet and she's quieter. So, in a sense, she might be seen as a little bit more boring than Juliet's bubbliness, mm -hmm. but she has a lot of depth and a lot of um, adultness to her that Juliet just doesn't have. And so I was hoping that would kind of augment her character a little bit, to put her next to Juliet. Yeah, and you know what I did? I went, so I finished your book, right? And then I went back to the beginning of it and reread the beginning. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, because I was like... Oh, I just wanted, because I'm telling everybody out there, they have to read this book, because it gets so, you know, by the time you get to the end and you figure out what's going on, I was like, wait a second, where did it, where did the story start with again? And like, I wanted to go back and reread <laughs> that beginning. I was like, okay, now I can see, because a lot of times that happens, you know, when a story <laughs> takes turns like that, and, and you get a different appreciation of the beginning oh, also, dude. you know? So, mm -hmm. Anyway, I went on your website, and um, I love your website. I'm sorry, what was that? I said I love your website. Oh, thank you. I, I've had my website going longer than I've been writing fiction, I think. Yeah, so for every, everybody, please go to her website, because I think you have the coolest thing on there, that people can put on prayer requests, and like you will pray for people. And I, you know, Absolutely. I don't know how many people know that because I don't know if you advertise that on any of your social media or anything like that. But I thought that that was very really cool. <laughs> well, you should. I think you should. I don't. Do you have a Facebook page or is it an author page or? I do. Yes, I have my author page, Joanna Davidson Politano. Okay. And um, I have actually gotten several prayer requests through my website without advertising, and that's been. That's been such a blessing to connect with people that way. I think so. I think it's so cool. I've never seen anything like it. And I was like, what a great idea, you know? I'm a I'm huge believer in the power of prayer. And prayer is a very, very, very big and constant part of my life. And it's just a really, um, a really practical way to bless some strangers that you're never going to meet. But people who may be kindred spirits because they're book lovers, you know? Right. Um, so I really enjoy being able to bless people that way. Yeah, and a huge part of my audience are um, Christians on Facebook. And a okay. lot of times I'll wake up in the morning and, like, somebody, you know, will put up, anybody need a prayer request today? I'm praying right now. Like, just, you know, like, 
so I that's think wonderful. You you know, I, I think I think you should. I think a lot of people are doing that, and it's like, and and you see underneath, like people are like, you know, give lots of responses, and I don't know, like you said, it's a way to connect. You know, everybody sure. is out there and has different requests and different things going on in their life, and you know, and you're so young, and it'd be, you know, it'd be a great ministry for you, I think. Well, thank you. I certainly enjoy it. The little bit that I've had so far. Right. Exactly. Well, this book is doing amazing. I, I, I'm sure you're just thrilled for your first book. How well. I was. I went on Amazon, and there's five stars everywhere. Yeah, I'm. I'm really blessed. I've had some gracious reviewers. People have been very kind, and uh, a lot of my friends have helped get the word out, so that you know, me, the non-salesman, doesn't have to do it. Right. And that has helped so much. And I actually just found out uh, a couple days ago that it hit the CBA bestseller list uh, for the month that it released. So that was really exciting. And that just kind of proves how effective my, my friends have been. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, you know, you need to just keep writing. Like, you're young. You can just keep. How long did this book take you? Uh, probably about a year, but I wasn't, I actually didn't intend to publish it, so it wasn't something I was actively trying to get done by any date. It was just a fun thing. Right. You know, just something for me and God to just sit down and work on a project and create together. Are you, and, do you have anything uh, going on right now? Are you working on another book? I do. I have my third book going on right now. My second book got turned into the publisher, yes. and it releases in July. And it's actually based on the story of uh, my romance in my life, my husband and I. Um, like, the characters kind of have the same dynamic that we did. And then my third book is coming out in uh, 2019, the summer. Wow, that's awesome. I'm really happy about that because I love to tell author. I love when I find authors like you who are young and, you know, it was their first book and be like, yes, keep writing. You found your, you know, this is your thing. Like, just, you well, know, thank they you. encourage you and to tell you how much, and, and every one of those reviews is just dead on on Amazon. I was like, they absolutely, you know, people are getting it, and they love your writing, and, you know, you are so blessed. Well, thank you. It's really actually cool to find so many kindred spirits, like, all over the world, people who connect with the things that um, that are cool to me, like the story elements that I like, and the classic literature and all that stuff, it's so much fun to yes. just find a bunch of people that I would never have met otherwise, you know? Yeah, and, and that's that exactly how I would similar describe passions. it. Yeah, that's, and that's how I would describe this book, is like classic literature. It's that kind of a story, you know, that it's... Just, oh, thank you. That's, I that's really a very would. high I mean, compliment. I could, I could tell right away. I was like, I know she's read classic literature. This reads like, and I'm a huge huge classic literature person so I, I really got that and I, I was just, I'm so happy that I found you and I I don't know exactly how I found you I don't think it was Facebook though I think I found you on Amazon so that's you oh, know, cool. yeah some kind of list on Amazon and you know and I, I saw the book right away I was like I'm going to read this book I read you know I was like I want I saw the cover and I was like yes I'm, gonna read this book. So, I'm so happy I did oh, glad you liked it <laughs> yes I am so anyway hold the book up again and I'll let you go because I I know you're so so busy and I just want to tell everybody about this I love okay. the cover so beautiful the colors are, are so beautiful did you already see the cover for the next one um yes I let's see I have a very large printout because I'm doing a book signing this weekend if you would like to see that I can run and get it real yeah quick. that would be great okay hang on Okay, here we have the second oh, book. Oh, nice. In poster form. <laughs> no, that's beautiful. So this is another Victorian England uh, set in a vineyard. That is beautiful. I, I'm sure you're thrilled with that. I love it. I think Ravel just knocks it out of the park when they make covers. I love them. And, and I love, and everybody mocks me because they're like, you always talk about covers. Yes, I always talk about covers. <laughs> So you're a cover snob? <laughs> I am. I am. And I, I don't care. I am. I think it really, I, like I said, if I go on Amazon and I, I can scroll through and be like, yes. That, and I saw that you're covered and I was like, yes. Like, I mean, it makes me say yes. So, you know, and I think I'm well, not the only one. Well, a good cover. 
yeah, a good cover should tell you the tone of what's in the book exactly. and if you're going to like it or not. Exactly. So, yeah, I'm with you. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was so nice to meet you, Joanna. I will have all of her links listed and especially your links to Amazon so you can just press on it. It'll take you right to her book. It'll be a good Christmas present, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it was so nice to meet you. Have a great holiday. You too. Thank you. Same to you. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.